Today I'm doing a deep clean of my entire house, so join me for some serious cleaning motivation where we're going to be dusting, disinfecting, polishing and hoovering from top to bottom. Hello and welcome back to another cleaning video. Today we are going to be doing a big deep clean of my house. If you can't already tell from my voice, we have all recently been sick. We've had a sickness bug that swept the house. So I was in desperate need of a clean up and this was the first day that I felt fit enough to give the house a thorough clean over. So if you're looking for some serious cleaning motivation, then keep on watching. I'm Grace if you're new around here and I do lots of videos like this. So please stick around if you do enjoy today's video. And with all that said, let's get into the cleaning. So the first thing that I did when I started this clean, my children were napping, so I wanted to get as much done in the couple of hours that they were sleeping, and my kitchen bin was really bothering me. It got quite stinky, and I just, I wanted to give it a nice clean outside, because this is how I give my bin a deep clean. I will take it out into the patio, empty it out, and I can use my hose and some disinfectant to give it a proper spray down. Um, it just got really smelly, and it was just bothering me thinking that there was like, germs from all the tissues and whatever we'd been cleaning up with so I wanted to give the bin a good clean so I did this to start off with so that once it was done I can just leave it out in the sun to air dry for as long as possible and then I can just finish towel drying it when that has been sitting there for a while so what I use to clean my bin is a sift cream cleaner for all the dirt and grime and then I also go in with like neat disinfectant so I will sift the grime off it first here is the disinfectant that I'm using it's the power drops one I really like this and um, so I'll just pop a lid of that in the black part of the bin and then just sort of tip a little bit into the like outside part of the bin as well so yeah how are you guys doing let me know in the comment section if any of you have been struck down with any sickness bugs recently I have seen quite a lot of it going around on like Instagram like other mums saying um, it started off as a sickness bug and then I got a really nasty head cold it's not covid i've done a few tests but it has been quite a nasty one it's knocked me like sideways a little bit i'm quite run down but I just it really like i really wanted to know that the house was clean and disinfected so we're not making ourselves like poorly again with all germs and stuff um so yeah now i am back indoors in the living room and i'm using this fabric freshener the fabulosa one um, it's the winter angel and then i've also got the like ready made up disinfectant in this and um, that i'm going to be like spraying down like the coffee table here because um both times when my children were ill they were sat on the sofa with me they were really good actually they were like sick in like little bowls but then we were putting the bowls like on the coffee table so i just wanted to give everything a real thorough disinfect um, polish dust that kind of thing because dust can like hold germs and bacteria and whatnot so yeah it was a thorough clean today so I'm just using a microfiber cloth to disinfect with the fabulosa spray and then these little coasters here um, yeah just really wanted to kind of blitz everything and know that it's kind of germ free or as germ free as it can be obviously um, so yeah that's what I'm doing right now I've sprayed the sofa I did actually clean the blanket um, the day before I filmed this on the sofa and now I'm going in with this fabulosa polish and this polish does actually say that it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses so I thought that would be quite a good thing to polish the coffee table off with like one side um, finished like dusting it and whatnot so I just use like an old rag duster to polish that off with so I have started spraying it onto the duster rather than the surface and um, it's supposed to be a better way of polishing so it doesn't like clog your furniture up with I didn't know that until recently I think I was watching or listening to a podcast where I heard that little tip and um, so yeah I've moved on now to the fireplace where I'm just going to repeat the process of dusting disinfecting and polishing
so another thing that i also really wanted to do today was to make sure that i targeted all of the like window handles the door handles light switches anything that we like might have touched while we were bogged down with the sickness so i don't want to like spread it because obviously like my family are coming around and stuff um so i'm cleaning all the handles on the like windows because like we had just like we were needing the fresh air in the house as well so we were opening windows a little bit from time to time um so yeah i'm just trying to target like everything that i could think of today and then um, i'm also just spraying that fabric freshener on the curtains just to make everything kind of smell nice and clean and refreshed because yeah i'm not gonna lie the house has felt quite gross the last couple of weeks so this clean was absolutely needed um, let me know down below if you feel like this after you've been sick as well like you just want to blitz the house um to be fair i probably could have waited but i just I just it just makes me feel better when I know that the house is clean and tidy and um, so I'm now into the hallway where I'm repeating the same process like doing the door handles um, in a minute I'm also going to do the stair gate as well because that's something that I forget to clean but it's also something that we touch with our hands like frequently and the children as well I'm in my kitchen now and I wanted to get out my Valida Bop bucket because um, in one of my last videos I might have said that someone left me a tip on one of my other videos about cleaning glass and windows and to run a hot bowl of water and to wipe down the glass with a cloth and then dry it with kitchen towel oh, it's got to be hot water so um, there was lots of handprints on the door again where the children touch it so this is just like a heavily touched area of the house like doors and stuff and I just that is what I was kind of my goal was to get everything that we might have touched clean today so I'm cleaning the glass um, and then I also did just disinfect the door handle if you didn't already notice that but yeah bit repetitive today but that is kind of the goal of this clean just to really give everything a proper once over really because I just I know that when I was trying to be quite conscious of keeping clean uh, like when we were being ill but obviously you're ill and it's not your, pri your priority is like getting over your illness and looking after the kids Moving on, I'm putting a capful of this multi-purpose cleaner into that bucket of hot water now because in a minute I'm going to go and clean the front door with this bucket. 
um, but before I do that I am also going to be repeating the process of just disinfecting everything in the kitchen all the handles all the cupboards I just decided it was time to give the front door a little clean over because I haven't done it for ages. Um, our window cleaner usually does do the door but the last few times, I think the time that he did our windows last time, we had an Easter wreath on the door so he didn't manage to, he didn't do our door because he didn't want to get the wreath soaking wet. Um, so I'm just cleaning the front door area there and then I am hoovering in the playroom before it was time to wake the boys up and I'm going to move on upstairs. Um, I'm not going to be, I haven't done the playroom very much because to be honest they didn't spend a lot of time in the playroom when they were ill. This was kind of the area of the house that they just weren't really in. They were just on the sofa when they weren't very well. Um, so I don't really feel like this part of the house was too dirty. of the Milky Way Somehow we got used to the problems Baby, we got used to falling I'm tired of feeling blue When I lose myself to love Yeah, I just wanna lose my breath Yeah, I just wanna lose my breath So now I've hoovered downstairs, I am moving on upstairs and the boys have woken up so I'm just taking my hoover and my cleaning caddy up with me and I thought that I would just strip the children's bedding again. They have obviously their bedding was washed like loads when they were being ill but I thought I'd just give it another wash now that they're all better um, and I also wanted to like clean their cot area um, because like one night we woke up and Elliot had been sick in his bed and although I'd sort of cleaned it I hadn't given it a deep clean so yeah just dusting again because apparently dust can hold like bacteria and germs and viruses and that sort of stuff um, and it's also just good to get everything like out of the house really um, so again also doing those window handles and all the handles on the changing unit here
and I am repeating the same process in Jasper's room. I'm taking his bedding off, dusting, and I am disinfecting his cot bars. Again, just to get everything nice and deeply clean. If you've enjoyed this video please give it a like, leave me a comment down below, let me know what sort of cleaning videos you want to see and subscribe if you're not already for more content like this. I do try and do cleaning videos at least once a month um, if not more so yeah I'd love it if you would stick around. I'm nearly at 3,000 subscribers so that's my next target and um, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to round it up now because I am just doing the same process of disinfecting, dusting and polishing and then I'm going to finish off by hoovering upstairs so yeah thanks again for watching and i will see you again soon bye